So we're gonna start with our revision for today. Today we're gonna to review about EMF and internal resistor. So this topic is quite hard, so let's focus and pay attention to the formula as the formula is not given in the SPM formula. So let's define electromotive force first. So what is meant by electromotive force? The word term to move one coulomb of charge around a complete so before this we define potential difference. Potential difference is the work done to move one coulomb of charge across two points in the circuit. So potential difference is only at certain two points in the circuit. But for EMF is for the overall circuit, overall um, journey of the charge throughout the so that is the difference between EMF and potential difference. Both are voltage. So we cannot use the, uh, the terms voltage here. So we must use the correct uh, terms to describe which one is the potential difference, which one is the EMF. But we really just uh, define voltage to be equal to the potential difference. But it's not that case, as we see here, that EMF also for as So let's see number two. Given the EMF of the battery is 1.5 volt, compare the volt meter reading with 1.5 volt when the switch is on. So let's uh, clarify this fact. Before this, we learn that if uh, we have a 1.5 volt here, then this is the positive, this is the negative. So point here is directly attached. If we choose to arbitrary point, let's choose uh, this point over here, then it might be clear, this two point. So this point over here is directly connected to the positive terminal, whereas this uh, other end over here is con directly connected to the negative terminal. So what we learned before, that if this point over here connected to the positive terminal that it has the higher potential value which is the given 1.5 volt whereas if this uh, negative point over here connected to the negative terminal we usually given the value of zero the lower potential value so if we want to measure the value of potential difference between these two points it's going to be 1.5 but that's only the case if we don't have internal resistance. So this is true when the battery that we use here has a very very small value of internal resistance or we can say that the internal resistance can be negligible. So we cannot say that uh, there is no internal resistance because the battery gonna have internal resistor no matter what. But the value of the internal resistor might be very but we can assume that when we solve the problem before we assume that the internal resistor, the value of the internal resistor is lower. That's negligible. We can neglect that. Then that means that our potential different values over here is equivalent to 1.5. What is the internal resistance actually? So internal resistance, let's define that. Internal resistance is the resistance due to moving charges in the electrolyte in the dry cell. Okay. So it causes by the movement of the charger in the dry cell itself. So in the, our dry cell over here, which is the positive terminal, is the negative terminal. Inside this uh, dry cell there is electrolyte, a chemical substance that can conduct electricity in motion or aqueous state. 
it undergoes chemical changes. Thus, in the electrolyte, there is a particle that are freely to move about. Then we have electrons to move as well. So if the electron moving and the, the ions, the free moving ions, can cause some kind of resistance towards the movement of the electron. Thus, we call it internal resistance. So we give a symbol of R. So basically, in the battery itself, it has its own power, potential difference, and also a resistor, we call it internal resistance. So we have little r and the potential difference here, we give it a symbol epsilon. Some book textbook represent with plain E, but I don't like that because E is for energy. I reserve it for electrical energy, but in this case, I'm going to use the symbol of epsilon to represent the EMF electromotive. So let's compare the voltmeter reading with 1.5 volt when the switch is on. So when we close the switch, we get that the value of the potential difference is going to be lower. Lower than 1.5 volt. This is due to internal resistance. But it means that the actual value is not 1.5, it's slightly lower, maybe 1.4 or 1.45 or 1.46, around that value. So why is that? Where is the rest? The 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volt goes to. So the 0 0.5 volt or 0 0.4, whatever the values that we get, will go through to the internal resistance, the energy, the work that I needed to um, against to overcome internal resistance. So what we can do here, we can make a formula for the EMF. So EMF equal to the potential difference which is this one over here, plus small group, the potential difference for internal resistance. So the internal resistance for the uh, internal resistance. So this is the external, this is the internal. That is one way to write uh, formula for EMF. Also, we can say that this V over here is what we usually measure, but this one is um, implicitly measured. But we assume that this arrangement over here are in series arrangement, thus the current is going to be the same everywhere. So we can make a formula like this that looks like this, where the I can see the internal is equal to I times R. R is the internal resistance. So we use the Ohm's law for this one. And also, we see that this is equivalent to voltage loss due to internal resistance. So now let's go to number three. The diagram shows an electrical circuit. We have set at is adjusted so the ammeter reading increases. Okay, this one over here is adjusted so that the ammeter reading increases. What will happen to the voltmeter reading? So again, if we write our formula over here, B plus I R, so I choose this uh, formula. What happened to the voltmeter reading? So basically, this is what we measure. As we see. So it is shown by the voltmeter reading. This value over here depends on dry cell. So if we don't change the dry cell, that's mean it is a constant. This value over here, constant and depends on dry 
derives them. Okay, but if the value of R here can be increases with time. So if we just uh, make it a very short time, then there is a negligible value, it's not gonna change. But if we use the battery over here for over one month or two months, even one week, we're gonna increase the value of resistance gonna increase due to the uh, slightly changes in the electrolyte itself, the chemical composition in the electrolyte. So, so what's the question asked? If we increase the value of I, this whole thing over here is going to be increased because R is constant. So constant times the value that is bigger, then the whole value is going to be bigger. But this value over here is not going to change. So what will happen to this value? This value will have to step down. We have to go down in order to make it balance back. The value that being increases must be decreases in order to make the EMF constant. So we can say that voltmeter reading decreases. Okay. So let's move on to number four. Given a graph potential difference against current. Determine the EMF. So we have our formula here V external plus V internal. And then V equals to V external plus IR. And then if we have another type of equation that we, we can represent it by this graph over here. If we want to use the Y and X plus C. Then, what we measure here is the potential difference. So, this is the V external. The gradient, we're going to leave it uh, after this, but we need to uh, fill in the Y and X first. X is the current, so I. So, what is the Y intercept? Y intercept is this value over here. So, let's leave it P first. So, let's compare these two equations here. And that. So we have that. If we want to rearrange this to look like this, we can make that look like this. If we rearrange P external, then we have to bring the IR to the other side. So E minus I R. And then if we want to make it look like this, then we can slightly rearrange to put the negative chi r at the front and plus e at the back. So what we get here, v at the normal equal to negative chi r plus e for this another equation. So now we can erase this one because not that useful. And then what we get here, the m the gradient of the graph is actually minus R. Because R is the, if we compare to the above, I is the X and so minus and R are the gradient. Whereas the C, the one in the set is the E and F. So if we compare these two, then it will be the same. So we have another type of formula here. Again, how we want to calculate the gradient? So we know that the gradient is the negative power. We can calculate the gradient by using these two points here. So this is the EMF, this is the P, this is the R. So we just neglect the zero because I, uh, everything minus zero will be uh, that thing will change. So E minus B is let's back up first. We have to write down the formula for the gradient. So Y2 is B, Y1 is E, X2 is I minus. 
zeros so we we can be over i so this is another formula so i can uh, add one more formula negative r is equal to v minus epsilon over i okay so let's answer the question. Determine the EMF. So based on the graph, we see that the EMF is the value of the y in the set, which is 1.5 volt. Determine the internal resistance. So we can use this formula over here, which is this one. So negative R is equal to V minus epsilon over I. V is 0 0.9. Epsilon is 1.5, I is 0 0.6. So we get 0 0.9 minus 1.5 divided by 0 0.6. We get negative 1. So R is just 1. So we will get the negative sign. Okay, which of the following circuits can be used to determine the value of EMF? So make sure that the characteristic of EMF for the circuit first voltmeter across dry cell. Number two, switch open. So off. Okay. So let's see. Let's check the first condition. So here, not here, here, not here. And then we have to see the switch open. So not here, 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 and here. So the answer is going to be C. Across. Then we can add some uh, additional condition and later in series real size. So this is optional. Okay, let's do some more calculations using the formulas. Electron multiple. The again shows an electric circuit. We have our PGE or EMF 3.5 ohm 0 0.8 amperes. Calculate the internal resistance of the battery in this circuit. So we're gonna use this formula over here. So if you want to rearrange IR equal to E minus V, R equal to E minus V over I. So R is equal to E minus V over I. E is 3.0. V. Then we don't know about V. V is 0 0.6. Okay, how are we going to do V? Then we have to use the term slot. Equal to 0 0.8 times 3.5. V is. 0.8 and 3.5, 3.8. Then we can substitute V here, 3.8. Then R is 3 minus 3.8 divided by 0 0.8, 0 0.25. Okay. So uh, remember that this Ohm's law over here, we use big R for external. R here is internal resistance, which is the value inside the battery. So both has their own Ohm's law, so V is equal to I R or or N V equal to I R. So this is external. This is voltage loss. Okay. This is potential difference. Okay. Now 
number two, a cell that interneurons and are connected into a circuit. When the switch S is open, the voltmeter reading is 3.0. So this is EMF because the switch is open. When the switch is closed, the voltmeter reading is 2.8. So this is the value of potential difference. So we take count the voltage loss after the switch is closed due to internal resistance. What is the internal resistance of the cell? So if we look back our formula here, what we don't have, we don't have I. So we have to calculate I first. V equal to I R. I equal to V over R. So V is 2.8. R is 7. So when we calculate that, we have 0.4 amperes. Then we can substitute the value here. 3.0 for this line, 2.8, and then 0 0.4, we will get 0 0.5. Okay. Number three, when the switch is off, the voltmeter reading is 9.0. So this is EMF. The internal resistance of the cell is 1. Ohm. So this is small r. What is the ammeter reading? I, when the switch is on. Okay, so let's write down our formula. V plus I r. I choose this one. So how are we going to calculate V? Because we don't have V, it's simple as this. Because V is also IR plus IR, then we have another formula, R plus R. So this is another formula that's quite popular as well. That's mean that the I here and I here are has the same have the same value due to they connected in series. Series. So we have our next formula. Then we can find I by rearrange. E divided by R plus R. So our E is 9.0. Our big R is 2.0. Our small R is 1.0. So I is 9 divided by 3, 3. And so let's move on to number 4. A cell has an EMF of 1.5 volt when it's connected to an external resistor. The potential difference is 1.3 volt. And the current is 1.0.2 ampere. What is the value of the internal resistor? Again, we bring the formula, plug in the values, and we get one okay. Number five. Given the current flow through the bulb is 0 0.5 ampere, what is the potential difference? across the bar, which is over here. So we have the MF here and R here. E equal to B plus I R. B equal to E minus I R. So 9 volt minus 0 0.5 inches, 0 0.4 ohm. Now B. Let's review back all the EMF equation that we already derived. V external plus V internal. E equal to V plus IR. E equal to 
I R plus I R E which is I R plus R which is quite a slim. V equal to minus R I plus E minus R equal to M equal to B minus I B minus E over I B minus epsilon over I. C is the EMF, and also we can only get positive by uh, interchange the position. So what else? Yeah, B loss. Equal to B internal, equal to I, R. And also we have the external equal to I, R as well. Okay. I think that's all for today. Hopefully that you understand all the equation, which one that you want to use the Ohm's law for. Is it for the external resistance or internal resistance? And why the potential different values is different than the values on the battery? Because it is uh, the work done against the moving charges inside the electrolyte. So it's due to internal resistor. So the voltage loss is due to internal resistor. Thus the value of potential difference is lower than the value of EMF. So that's all for today. Hopefully that you understand the concept here and that all the foundation and choose which uh, equation, which uh, formula that you want to use. Because all the formulas are equivalent. You can use it, uh, but some of the equation might be easier. So that's all for today. Thank you.